Hey guys, and welcome back to another flashlight review today. I'm gonna to be looking at the Workos TS21. Here it is, I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. I've got mine in green. I just wanted something different from the usual black. And yeah, by now you should know that Workos offers some really amazing deals on budget lights. The TS21 is a really impressive pocket size flashlight, comes with three SST 20 uh, emitters and a triple TII lens configuration. And this particular version comes with Andiral 2. So it's really good for EDC general use and also allows you to push the light to its limits in terms of sustained performance. You can go into the UI and set it, uh, set the step down temperature to whatever you want. So yeah, the closest thing I can compare this to is my Sofern IF25A. And that has a pretty similar setup, but with the four times SST20s. So let's have a look at the overall construction and build quality. I'll just bring it a bit closer so you can take a look. And overall, good quality machining, especially at this price point likely stainless steel bezel. That's something that you don't see too often on budget flashlights as well. You can't open it up. Clips, bare metal, doesn't have any coating on it. And it also fits in two places. You can clip it here or clip it here. So if you want the flashlight to face down in your pocket. With other flashlights, you'd have to unscrew the battery tube and put it on backwards. But in this case, nice little convenient slot here for the clip here's a side switch and it's actually quite similar to the one on the if22a the sofa and if22a pretty much the same one aluminium you've got a light there in the center that tells you whether the light is on or off you can also change it so that it flashes or it's a little bit dimmer or brighter so with the andural ui uh, firmware you can actually modify some of that you can't change the color of it though it's not a rgb light in there you know, here are some little cutouts on the head. And I like that Workos have kept this the same diameter pretty much all the way through. Feels a lot more sleek. I know with the Sofa and I have 25A, the head is quite large. But with the TS21 here in the Workos, they've managed to keep the size down and still get some decent heat dissipation from this light. You got USB-C charging just underneath this port here. Nice seal as well. You'd have to push down to get that rubber port firmly in there. A nice bonus as well is that you've got a magnetic uh, tail clip. So you can work with it. Um, it actually is strong enough to hold on uh, vertically as well as horizontally. So just sticking out from a table or something like that. So let me just demonstrate, you know, like that. Yeah. Okay. So that's good, especially if you're you're working and you want to use this light as a kind of hands-free light. Nice bonus that you have included. Can't really see the LEDs in here, but you've got the three times SST20 configuration. I've got mine in the 5000K version, but you can get it in 4000K and also 6500K, I believe. And yeah, it does also come with a protective glass lens on the front so that's something really important to me to make sure that it doesn't get scratched and uh, ruin that plastic tir lens behind in terms of the ui it does have andural 2.0 it ships with the simple mode on i've uh, just activated the advanced mode so i can get some of the other features including the battery calibration as well as the temperature calibration and step down mode. So I have made other videos on Andural 2, so I won't go into it in too much detail, but basically you turn on the flashlight. Okay, one click, you can turn it on and then click and hold. You can ramp it up and down to smooth ramp. You can also change the ramp so that you've got step modes. And, you know, say you've got the flashlight off, double tap to go to high, double tap again to go to turbo. Okay, so once the light is on, actually, you can just double tap to go to the top of the ramp as well. Um, if you go and set it to a particular ramp mode like that, turn it off, turn it back on, it memorizes that last mode. Okay, there's a few other interesting modes in here as well, like candlelight mode. So click, click and click hold. And it has this sort of flickery effect here, imitating a candle. Um, there's also bike, bike modes, double double press there's a whole bunch of interesting things in there you can even change the 
the strobe frequency to make it strobe faster or slower, which is good for light painting. But yeah, the big bonus in here is that with Anduril, you can set the step down mode. So I set it to 60 degrees Celsius. So that light is producing maximum lumens for as long as possible before it starts stepping down. And it does get really hot though in the head when you're doing that because I feel this is a pretty small light. So you wanna be careful when you're using that uh, step down at that sort of temperature. So let's talk a bit about performance. And here is a quick ceiling bounce test that I did. Ran it over just over uh, 16 minutes. Light starts out at 100% and already starts ramping down, but very, very slowly. So at the two minute mark, you're roughly at about 90% of uh, the output, 85 to 90% of the output, which I think is quite reasonable, pretty decent for a light of this size. Um, at that point at two minutes, it ramps down completely to about 50 to 60% and continues to ramp down. At the 10 minute mark, you've got about 20 to 30% of the light output available and it holds at that point. I did try to activate turbo again just after 16 minutes. It spikes and then goes back down almost immediately as it should. I've also taken some measurements with my Opal Light Master Pro and you can see here I've actually used two different cells. I've used the stock Workos 21700 cell and that produced 13 1,600 candela, so 233 meters of throw versus a Molly cell P42A. It's a high, high drain cell that's rated at 45 amps, I believe, and I got some extra candela out of that one, so 256 meters of throw. Color rendering index was 60 to 61, and the CCT was 4,500 to 4,700, so it's a little bit off. It was supposed to be 5,000 uh, 5, K on my version. I'd basically describe the beam as a huge wall of light, lots of flood with a large, distinct hotspot, and throws surprisingly well for a triple TIR, and you'll see in the beam shots later what I mean. But considerations, I think Enduro 2, that's something, again, that is a personal preference. Not everyone likes using Enduro. It's quite a tricky UI, okay? And I think it's also important that you, especially if you, if you want the light to maintain and uh, sustain its lumens, to set that step-down temperature to a higher uh, setting at least 50 degrees Celsius because most of these lights uh, they're not set properly and they ramp down too quickly so if maximum performance you need to look that up I've got a video on my channel on that showing you how to do that and it does get very hot when you set it at that mode so yeah something to keep in mind and you know if Anduril 2 does bother you a little bit it's too difficult you can also set it to simple UI mode and it does come shipped like that as well so you can't access any of these other functionalities but basically just ramp the light up and down as usual Okay, another thing I like to see Workos do is add a tail switch. Now, I really like this button. It's cool and it feels high quality, but the issue is that I can't really see it in the dark. It's difficult to sort of feel it. Um, and so you're kind of just fumbling around a little bit to turn the light on. It's fine for EDC use, maybe like a general use flashlight. But uh, if, you, if there's any time where you need to potentially activate this light really quickly at a moment's notice, you're going to have potentially some trouble finding that switch. So... Uh, but another thing you can do, of course, is activate the uh, auxiliary light here, which will allow you to see it in the dark. And there I have it. I've just activated the auxiliary light there. So that's another way around it if you want to see that switch in the dark. Overall, I think this is really good value for a 3500 lumen flashlight. Fits in your pocket. Quality is excellent at this price point, and you get everything you need in the box, especially if you're a beginner and you're looking for an all-purpose flashlight that just does it all. I think the Workos TS21 is a great little option. If you're interested in this flashlight, I have left a link in the description. And if you have any other questions, let me know as well, because I'm sure I've missed out some points here or there. I'm happy to answer your questions. If you also like the video, do me a favor, click the like button because it helps me to get the video out to more people. And finally, if you want to see me make more flashlight reviews, make sure you subscribe. All right, I've got the Workos TS21 and I'm going to put it into the high mode. This is the triple SST20 with the triple TIR reflector setup. So just double tap from off to go into high mode like that. And look at that, decent throw and a lot of flood um, the beam pattern is really quite pleasing it's practical but you still have a pronounced hot spot in the center 
double tap and this is the turbo mode and whoa just lighten up this entire field it's just no problems at all and what I like about it is that it's not blinding me from a close spot I mean it's illuminating these trees so nicely such a little light this is very impressive I have to say very impressive Turbo activated again. And it is, yeah, it is getting a little warm and I have actually changed the settings on this flashlight for it to step down at 70, sorry, 60 Celsius. So it is getting a little hotter than usual, but I set all my Enduro lights this way so that I have increased runtime on high or turbo if I need it. Some people don't like that because it just can get too hot. But yeah, that's just what I do on my Enduro lights. For me, I want to make sure I've got that level of performance wherever I need it. And if it gets too hot, I'll just shut it down or ramp it down. Okay, which reminds me, I can again just show you the ramping mode. Okay. So that's ramping up, ramping down. Enduro is really nice. Um, in terms of its ramping, it's smooth, does it very well. Okay, that's the top of the ramp. Double tap and then you've got turbo. Okay, that's the top of the ramp. Double tap. It's a great value light. Just amazed at how bright this thing is. It's getting pretty pretty hot though I have to say the head of the light anyway but not the yeah not the battery tube more the head of the light we've used it for a few minutes now so it is impressive it is uh, maintaining its output still go for a walk <laughs> 